Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here back with more Let's Play Shunning Force CD, and we are in the final fight of Book 3. And we are just going to move forward. We've got some Wonder Mushers left that I probably should kill simply just to speed up the fight, but I'm not doing it. Dava's getting several turns in a row, not happy about that. Sarah's going to recover MP, and I'm waiting. I know. I know we're going to get some more um, Wonder Mushes, and I also know we are going to get uh, some more bad guys popping up. So, yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm killing time ever so slowly. Alright, I need to heal people. Let's heal my ranged unit. Because I I can still screw this up. Like, there is still a great deal of possibility for me to to, to completely bungle this. Because we've got I, I've already spoiled it. I know we're we're going to have uh, the other bosses show up. Uh, like Churao, Kusarigi, uh, Boldor, they're, they're gonna come back, and then I'm gonna have to deal with them. Uh, I really don't want to. I really don't want to deal with them at all. Uh, because they've got some AoEs, and it can be kind of a pain in the ass, so... I'm trying to keep Trying to keep people both spread out and not. Alright, I should be hitting the point where I should trigger... I, I should be triggering their, uh, their, their spawn at the moment, so... But they're not here. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of keep Slade down, out of the way. All right, maybe I have to, I think I have to attack Dava first. She's just kind of, she's just kind of sitting there now. She's not even attacking. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm now, I'm now getting a little concerned. <laughs> it's like, I, I had an expectation. It's not happening. And now I'm, I'm, I'm scared. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my ranged units into position. And we're going to start attacking Dava. I know they're going to show up. I, I'm... I should be safe there. I think I'm safe there. I'm probably not safe there. There we go. Boldor has appeared. Kisarigi has appeared. And Churao has appeared. Alright, so... Ch oh, and Wondermush on that side. Okay, Boldor can take a couple of hits. Claude is going to take a hit. Thankfully, Claude is... Claude's going to take two hits. Because she is a bitch. All right. Um. Well, let's focus down the new enemies. We've already fought them before. Um. I'll. Well. Like I've already fought them before. I should show off their stats though, because they're. They haven't really changed. Uh, Kisarigi, over 100 HP, 88 MP, attack of 62, defense of 43. Agility of 29, Movement of 7, Raijin 2, and Boost 2. So sh she's a threat because of the AoE. That's really her her big threat. We've got Bulldor back for more. HP of 99, Attack of 60, Defense of 40, Agility of 27, Movement of 6. He doesn't have any special magic or items, but he does have that AoE Flame Breath attack that he can cast. So that's there. And then Bulldor is... Boldor. 
HP of over 100, attack of 66, defense of 45, agility of 31, movement of 5, and he's got a golden hammer. I've got a golden ticket. Um, so, yeah, that's... Everyone's still their typical level of obnoxiousness. But... Boldor's gonna have to work his way up, so I've at least got the means to do some serious damage to both Kisarigi and Churao before he becomes a threat. Unless he goes directly after my healer. Oh, you are just the worst kind of dick. Okay, well, he has earned a special place in I want to, to end him, Ville, so, you know. And that probably won't kill her, but it will kill her. 32 points of damage. Kisarigi's dead. She didn't get to get off an AoE, which I could not have asked for a better possible outcome with that. So, unfortunately, Churao has now made it so I am very limited into how I can attack him. And I'm angry about this. So, I'm going to, to show him the depths of my anger. I will show him the nadir of my pain, uh, and I'm going to... I'm going to cast heal 3. It's overkill, but I'm angry, and I don't want my healer to die. So, alright, let's, speaking of healer... Let's heal Claude, because he took, like, 19 points of damage from Kisarigi getting multiple attacks, because, you know, that's how things seem to work. Alright. She hasn't used her Dava Beam in a while, and that's concerning me. But, you know... Ugh, damn it, I was really hoping for a second attack. That would have killed him. All right, well, he's still dead anyway, so we've taken out two of the three lackeys without really any trouble. The Wonder Mush near Dava is, is kind of obnoxious, but really nothing I can do about it at the moment, so. Why are you not using your laser? I am getting uncomfortable by the fact that you are not lasering things up. I don't like it. All right, let's start getting people into into position. Dava can she can attack anyone who's right next to her. And she's got a fairly decent attack stat, so like that is something we need to keep an eye out for, but at the same time we can also just kind of start tearing into her. Boldor might be a problem because he he mostly just has a ton of HP. Alright, um... I think I should be safe here. I think. The goal is to kill the Wonder Mush. I to say, are you gonna laser? No, you're not. You're just gonna get in the way. Alright, uh, let's see if I can get Boldor's attention. Have him come after me. Um, let's take out the Wondermush. Wondermush needs to not be there anymore. And then we're just going to start moving people in. Oh my god, what are you doing? Dava Breath. Oh, you were a bitch. That is an ability I did not... I did not see coming. Okay, well... Again, let me show you the nadir of my pain. I am... I'm... Angry. Must kill old woman. <laughs> like... Alright, um... Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's get Bulldor's attention. 
Come over here, big guy. We're gonna throw a party. Um. Oh, damn. I can't... I can't get... Claude. Okay, well... Hmm. I'm, I'm a little grumpy that she has an ability that I did not see coming. So... And I can't move too many people into position to actually be worthwhile to attack. So... Probably gonna end up sacrificing my flyers. Seven points on a counterattack. That's not terrible. Okay, yeah. He he walked right into this, so heavy hit that actually kinda hurt. But that's a heavy hit. So Uh plus I can I can fix that. Um Actually, I'm going to move you up here. Um, I'm, I'm in her attack range. At this point, I don't think it matters. I don't think there's anything that matters right now, so... Um, I, I want to... Uh, well, yeah, one of my flyers is dead, because Dava Breath is going to kill him. Yep. Bye, Claude. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts like a bitch. Uh, damn it. All right, so yeah, my healer's dead. I really don't like this. I really don't like this. At all. So, hmm. Would you stop being a bitch? Would you stop being a bitch? Alright, um, I just need to- I need to focus down Daba. She's- she's almost dead. I've got enough time in this episode to- to- to finish it, so let's just focus her down the best we can. I- and of you blocked my sword with what? All right, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep Sarah out of out of range at the moment. Um, you make make her feel pain. May make her feel extreme amounts of pain. That's really I can't I can't walk anywhere else. All right, fine. I don't, I don't care. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of stuck. There's really not too much I can do. Yeah, attack. Yeah, fine. Attack Yaha. He's, he can handle your crap. Um. We're gonna heal Randolph too, because why the hell not? I've lost, I've lost a healer. I've lost both Birdmen. I can only attack her from one side now. I'm, I'm, I'm grumpy. <laughs> so we're, we're just gonna focus her down and have that be the end of it. I, I wanted to kill Bulldor, but she's kind of pissed me off. So, yeah. Oh, Dava Breath is gonna suck. And she's gonna do it again, too. I know she is. Alright, I've got a healing rain. And... I was about to say, are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. Because multiple attacks, because you're a bastard. I'm just losing people left and right because I, I will say this is getting slightly aggravating, but 
Why are you getting such good rolls? You're attacking multiple times. You're defending all the time. Stop it. Just stop it. 40 points of damage to Dava. 40. All right. Let's... I can, I can kill her so quickly. I just want her to be dead. Lee, oh God. I don't know if Nick dies if I lose. Son of a bitch, really? Oh my God. Um. Healing rain. Because I'm tired of this bullshit. And it's, the sad thing is, it's it's not Dava, it's the fact that Dava changed tactics. I was expecting one thing, and I got, like, nothing even close to that. Alright. And you die. Just die. We're done. We're done. This is done. Dava has been defeated. Do I have to kill Bulldor too? No. We're done. That's the end of it, folks. I, I suffered the most casualties in any one fight, thanks to her. Ah, uh, God, I hate her. All right. Oh, no. Stop it. I love how we're beating her up now. Where's Queen Henri? Bring her here right now, or we'll... Oh no, all right, all right. Gaian, help me, I've had enough. What's going on? Uh, uh, everyone, listen to me. Gaian, who is she? How do you know her? I also love that Gaian's still wearing the dog outfit. It's adorable. Now that's an interesting story. Queen Henri. Gaian, let me explain. I love how she just pushes. <laughs> Guyan told me everything before the crowning ceremony. Dava was testing Nick to see he to see if he was the right person to be a king. Isn't this right, Dava? You are so smart. And did you find him worthy? I think Nick will become one of the greatest kings. Your father was also a great and gentle king. But you're you are easily as strong as he is, maybe even stronger. I don't understand, Gaian. I think we have to, the right to know the truth. This was all staged. I'm sorry, this is a test to see if, prince, if the prince is ready to be the king. All previous kings of Cyprus went through this on crowning day. The prince cannot wear the crown until he wins. Nick has done his duty perfectly. Mayfair, is everything ready? And she's, she's very angry. You deceived us. I've... I never trusted you. And she's going to go kill Gaia. So that's that's it. Book 3 was just a test. It's all it was all a ruse. Nick has passed Dava's severe test to be a king. A few days later they held the crowning ceremony once again. And everyone's having fun, having a blast. Now let me start Prince Nick's crowning. Oh, that's adorable. I love how it sparkles, too. I have a sparkly crown. I look beautiful. I don't care what anyone says, I am totally rocking this crown. Sparkles and all. Oh, uh, so yeah, that's the end of book three. The prince? became a magnificent king of the peaceful and wealthy kingdom of Sa
So yeah, that's the end of the story. So I will have one more episode where I will do a, a, a bonus to show what book four is. I'm not going to do book four in its entirety because I don't like the concept of book four, especially after book three. Uh, book three, you get to pick your 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 force based off of everyone you picked up in books one or two. So two games worth. Shining Force CD really is a very proto Shining Force 3 in terms of, you know, what characters you find, uh, allowing you to, to, to make your force in the end however you want it to be. Uh, and then book four is the secret battle of Shining Force 2 or the premium disc battles of Shining Force 3 where you fight all of the previous bosses. It's a boss rush mode. Uh, book four in this is uh, a museum fight where statues of all of the bosses from books one and two, including uh, book three, the, the, the Dava enemies, uh, they come to life and you have to fight all of them. So you've got to fight all of them, plus Iom, the Iom worms, everyone. Everyone. It's, it's a very large fight. But the problem is with book four, you don't get to pick your own force you have to use a set force and because i have not leveled up that said force i really have no desire to do it but i do want to show it off to show people what it it can do but the more i look at this and the more i see it it is very much so many of the design concepts in this became the backbone of shining force 3 which is amazing given the amount of time between shining force cd and shining force 3 and the other technologies that came into it. Things like uh, Knights and its A-Life function to help kind of link things together. Uh, and like the, even the Chow Garden that came later. Things that you can see kind of built on the, this, this technology of uh, linking games together based off of what you'd accomplished in a previous game. So... Uh, the A-Life kind of took that to an another show because that's all stuff in the same game. But anyway, uh, I'm, I'm rambling about that. So, I'm really, really excited to have finally completed this one. Like I said, I know it's not 100% because I'm not going to be finishing book 4, but I don't like the fact that I have to use a specific party, especially with the way that party's set up and the way certain mechanics in this game seem to work. Like, I really don't like the magic in this. It does not feel like it scales well, and that's disappointing. So, the fact that I'd have to use offensive magic users kind of sucks. But, at the same time, we also got treated to a wonderful little song and dance from all of the characters from books 1 and 2, uh, and then e even book 3 with uh, Dava and her, her minions showing up. So, this is the end of the story of Shining Force CD. So, there will be an extra video where I, I show off book four. Um, so, stay tuned for that. I do apologize that I'm not going to... I don't have it in me to do book four with, with a, a preset party. I just... Uh, I just don't. But, uh... Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the story of Shining Force CD. I'm glad to have finally completed all of it. Uh, it's... This is a, a big thing for me, considering the last time I tried to Let's Play this, what happened. So, I'm I'm really happy and, and proud to, to, to finally complete the story. So, see you all in the next installment. Till then, later everyone.